guess who's coming your way? It's like playing that game, guess who? You know, the one where you put down all the um, things. And I just thought, you know, what? I want to see who's coming your way. I really do. I want to um, tell you and show you and yeah, I, I really want to get to the bottom of things. So this is for all star signs. If you're here, I think it's a sign in itself that this is a reading for you. So, you know, if you're here, welcome, hello. And uh, we're going to see, we're going to see who is coming your way. I'm very excited to see this. So regardless of who you have already, okay, in your life and who's around, I really believe that there is, you know, something that uh, the universe wants to share and, and for some of you it can actually confirm a person that's already in your life you know so it's one of those things but before I start I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month if you would like to purchase any personal services with me um, definitely do check them out everything is listed down below for your convenience so feel free to check everything out to have a look um, yeah, there's a free reading giveaway, there is the personal services, there's also the um, readings as well that I do, there's the intention items which thousands of people have seen results with. So everything's on shopmoonlightguidance.com and listed down below. Review section is at the bottom of my website, there's also items like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards um, and items which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse and um, they are for various different areas of your life so if you're interested definitely do check them out there's also candles and crystals and sage bundles as well um, so they are really special um, yeah okay so let's have a look and see what is coming through for your reading let's see who is coming your way all right well clearly um, there's some eagerness here okay Nine of Pentacles shows someone who is financially very, very stable and very secure within themselves. They are comfortable within themselves. They're comfortable. They're in their emotions. They are comfortable with who they are and what they have. They are wealthy. From what I'm seeing here, this person is wealthy. So for those of you that are worried, like, I'm not sure who's going to come my way. I don't know if like a good life partner or someone to date, you know, is, is going to come my way. We'll see um, whether they are life partner quality, you know, we'll have a look and see, but definitely stable, okay? They are, and when I say stable, I'm not just talking about finances, I'm also talking about emotionally, you know, they can validate their own emotions, they can, you know, have uncomfortable conversations without running away, without, um, well, without leaving you in the cold. And I actually think that that's important, right? You, you don't want to be in a situation where you always feel alone. I mean, that's not what you're really looking for. You're not looking for someone to make you feel alone. I mean, if that's the case, you'd rather just not be with someone, right? So I think that this is really important is that this is someone who makes you feel like you are a part of something and their friends seem to be really understanding, respectful and genuine. I believe that you would get along really well with their friends and also their family members. They are also a reflection of that. You know, when people say, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are, you will just speak to their friends and you will feel inspired, you'd feel motivated, you will feel loved, you will feel respected, that's a really big key word, and you will genuinely feel like they make time. You know, it's not always about them and what they're doing, um, they will make time for you as you would for them. They would respect you as you would for them, they would be appreciative, they would be kind and generous, just like you would be for them. And this is mutual. So I actually think this is a very special reading um, in so many ways. And Three of Cups here shows celebration, which I think to me actually indicates here that there's something quite significant that can happen between you and this person. Ooh, it's a new lover. This is a new lover who just seems to really understand you and respect you and they have a lot of stability in their life. I, I also believe that their sort of family dynamic is, is very stable and uh, that's pretty significant here. Um, and even with the Knight of Swords, I do believe in so many ways that the Knight of Swords here represents someone who is willing to settle down, someone who has been working really hard, been trying to get themselves together in a good place and now they are ready to settle down, they are ready to progress things along, they're ready to make moves. They are, especially with the the, um, what do we call it, the Knight of Swords, right? The Knight of Swords here really does show communication, like they're very effective at communication, they don't shy away from it, they don't run away from it. Emotionally, they are very solid within themselves. The King of Cups pretty much resembles what I literally just mentioned, but also with the Eight of 
wands we see here lots of solid communication understanding drive motivation world card here as well beautiful i love i love this i really do world card is strong for many reasons um well the main reason why the world card is a really strong card actually is because the world card here shows that regardless of any kind of like distances they're always trying to like bridge the distance bridge the gap this is about creating a nice home life together the queen of wands is absolutely stunning because this actually is about them really finding you extremely attractive them really liking your personality your character and also the things that you might feel really embarrassed about about yourself they will actually validate they will really like and they just wouldn't want to change you from what I'm seeing. And I actually think that that's such a powerful thing, right? You don't want someone to like change you and say to you like, oh, I wish you looked like this or I wish you did less of this or I wish you um, didn't do this and I wish I could just uh, control you. Like, no, you don't want that, hello, <laughs> right? Please, please tell me you don't want that, you know? I, I think that it's obvious you want someone who respects you and likes you for who you are and I think that this is a very very solid person um, in that sense and also ace of wands as well as a lot of attraction towards the two of you intimacy being very very strong between you both um, and so that's a good thing right that's a good thing <laughs> it's a good thing it's a good thing mm. yep so emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, even socially, you feel respected, um, you feel um, stable, understood, and good. Um, yeah, okay, so we've got the star card. Yeah, stars are aligning here. They are, yep, they are, they are, they are. Guess who's coming? A really good person, a really good person, okay? A good, good person, a really good person. Ten of Cups, that's exactly what you want. Good. So, um, basically, what you have always wanted from a person is coming your way. Some of you might be like, oh, yeah, but Moonlight, like, really? Like, yeah, because, you know, think about exactly a person you want. You don't want someone who's inconsistent, right? A lot of you want someone who is consistent and understanding and respectful, and that's what's going to come your way. But you might, some of you might be holding on to someone who is not consistent, who is not understanding, who is emotionally invalidating you or emotionally unavailable, running away every three seconds and coming to you just when they feel like it. Well, technically, that's not what you want, right? 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 I mean, comment down below, right, okay, <laughs> as in R-I-G-H-T, if you are agreeing with what I say, because I really want to know, I really genuinely do want to know, so if you say right, then I'll know that you have, you, you agree with what I'm just saying right now, because I could say right, and you could say right, you know, <laughs> but I, I, I believe that what you want is stability, and what I see coming towards you is stability in the form of a new person. Two of cups, there you go, right? Someone who is equal and mutual towards you like you are towards them. This is a healthy connection. And also with judgment, they are very respectful of your choices and your decisions. They are spiritually quite uh, awakened. They are spiritually quite aware, like they're very self-aware. That's a very important quality and trait in a person, to be self-aware. Not everyone all the time is very self-aware. People are selfish, they don't really care about others or they just care about themselves, you know? So the strength card here shows that they are strong, they're courageous, they would stand up for people that are not nice towards you, not kind towards you, not understanding towards you. That, of course, is very important. You've got the Knight of um, Cups here as well. They'd be very loving, and I do feel like they would take action towards you, progress things with you. They seem to be very, very... Um, they seem to be very... Um, <laughs> I would describe the Four of Swords very very patient and at peace and they don't give you a headache now keep in mind that when i say all of these amazing things i'm still going to be realistic and say that look every connection can go through little misunderstandings and miscommunications here and there the only difference here is that in this connection they don't run away right they will own up to their mistakes they will want to talk things through they will want to uh make things stable they are not going to run away to the point where you're thinking to yourself what just happened and that's something I think is very important to know here. All right, so this is what we have. And um, yeah, I think that it's so nice and it's so wonderful to see that there is someone who is caring and loving and stable and generous. Generous and compromising. Compromising is another word. And mutual, right? You want mutual. You don't want one-sided, right? Let me know. Right you know, write the right in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, if this resonates with you and you claim it, don't get to 
you know um like share subscribe comment down below check out the description box below for information on personal services free reading giveaway intention items which are on my website there's also intention items for new love um as well so if you are interested you can search for it on the site but uh, everything is always there of course and um I think you deserve a lot and I think that the reason why I've done this reading as well is that I think that some of you deserve a lot more than what you have perhaps been dealing with so when you kind of think about that it sort of makes sense that things sort of come through full circle in that way I think that some of you deserve just so much more and, and sometimes it's hard it's hard to kind of accept that you know that is the case um but I think you deserve a lot and I think that you are a person of high value and high quality that deserves a lot more in the world. Um, you deserve the world actually. <laughs> so this is your reading. Um, so yeah, check out everything Luno listed down below, like the intention items, the personal services, free reading giveaway, intention items. Um, I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone does want to follow me on there, feel free to do so as I post short readings on there every single day. And of course, I will see you all very, very soon as well. Okay, so take care everybody. Bye. <laughs> do 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 do.